Hi, this is Johnny. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ngayon guys, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is about dito sa Philippine National Identification System or PILSIS. The PSA launched the online Step 1 registration on April 30, 2021. So, nag-start yung registration guys noong April 30, 2021 dito sa pagkuha ng Philippine National ID to allow registrants to set an appointment for their Step 2 registration. So, pwede na tayo mag-register online guys. Actually, nag-start na ang mga data collectors na nagbahay-bahay sa mga selected area sa Philippines. Ibig sabihin, ay hindi pa lahat ay napupuntahan ng mga data collectors. Pero in case na wala pa sa lugar ninyo guys, or di kaya naman, wala kayo noon nung pumunta ang mga data collectors sa inyong lugar. Walang problema yun guys, dahil pwede kang mag-register sa Step 1 sa online. Yun po yung ituturo ko sa inyo ngayon. Pero bago yun guys, bigyan ko kayo ng kunting idea kung ano ba itong Philippine National Identification. The PIL ID refers to the physical ID card that serves as a valid proof of identity that can be used to transact with the government and the private sector. The card is non-transferable and is issued upon successful registration to the PILCIS. Ayun guys, itong Philippine National ID serve as a valid proof of identity. How long is the validity of PIL ID? So, may expiration ba tong ID na to guys? So, for Filipino citizen, the PIL ID has no expiration and will only be renewed upon updating of demographic information and biometric information. So, wala siyang expiration guys. For residence aliens, the Philippine ID is valid for only one year and may be renewed annually. So, for alien residence guys, so one year po yung validity ng ID. So, kailangan i-renew every year. Ito ay para dun sa mga alien residents. So, ibig sabihin yung mga foreigner. Then, is registration to PILCIS mandatory? So, mandatory ba guys yung pagkuha ng Philippine National ID? Registration to PILCIS is not mandatory as stated in the law. However, since the PILCIS will be used for the issuance and provision of government services, it is strongly recommended for citizens to register. So, hindi siya mandatory guys pero... Pero strongly recommended daw na kailangan makakuha tayo ng Philippine National ID. So kailangan din natin to. Unang-una guys, ang advantage natin pag nagkaroon tayo ng Philippine National ID is valid ID. So isa tong primary ID guys for identification. What are the requirements or documents needed for registration to PILCIS? So ito guys yung mga requirements na kailangan natin para makapag-register tayo o makakuha tayo ng Philippine National ID. The registrant is required to bring the original copy of any of the following primary documents. So una guys, PSA issued certificate of live birth or one government issued identification documents with bear full name, front facing photograph and signature or thumb mark. So pangalawa guys, Philippine passport or e-passport issued by the Department of Foreign Affairs or DFA. GSAS or SSS issued Unified Multipurpose Identification Card or UMID Card. So pangapat guys, Land Transportation Office or LTO issued Student License Permit or Non-Professional Professional Driver's License. So ito yung mga primary ID na isa sa requirements ng pagkuha ng Philippine National ID. So sabi dito, if the registrant does not have any of the above mentioned documents, he or she may bring original copy of any of the following secondary documents. So, kung wala naman tayo dun sa mga nabanggit, dun sa una guys, so pwede itong mga secondary ID natin. So, ito yung mga valid ID na pwede nating gawing requirements dito sa pagkuha ng Philippine National ID. So, where will registration center be located? The PSA has partnered with the local government units or LGUs for the establishment of the registration centers. Fixed registration centers is the provincial offices will be open to the public this year. Further announcement regarding the registration centers will be posted at the PSA website. In partnership with Robinson Malls, and SM Prime Holding Inc. Additional registration centers may be checked on the official Facebook page of Lingkod Pinoy for Robinson Malls and SM Super Malls. 
So this year guys, possible na magkakaroon ng registration center sa mga Robinson Malls, SM Prime Holding Inc. or SM Super Malls. Ito guys yung registration process ng PILSIS. Una, submission of demographic data and set schedule of appointment for the step 2. So dito sa step 1 guys, so dalawang klase para maibigay natin yung demographic data natin, then mag-set ng schedule. So una guys, online. So pwede tayo mag-register through online. Then pangalawa, may mga selected area na umiikot na yung mga data collectors para makuha nila yung demographic data ng bawat isa. Then in case na walang pumunta dyan sa lugar ninyo guys, or wala kayo noon nung pumukuha sila ng demographic data, yung mga data collectors, so pwede kayo mag-register online. Then step 2 guys, validation of demographic data and captured of biometric information. So dito na i-validate yung ating demographic data, then kukuha tayo ng biometric information. Then step 3 guys, issue once of PILSIS number or PSN and ID. So dito na i-deliver yung Philippine National ID natin. So ang ituturo ko sa inyo guys, kung paano tayo mag-register online dito sa step 1. So para makapag-register tayo dito sa PhilSys guys, dyan sa browser mo, computer o cellphone yung gamit mo, itype mo yung register.philsys.gov.ph So ito yung dashboard nila guys, yung Philippine Identification System. So scroll up natin. Sa bandang baba guys, so, i-click lang natin itong proceed. Then, to start, enter Philippine mobile number or email address. So, mag-enter tayo ng active mobile number natin dito guys or active email address. Then, click lang natin itong I'm not a robot. Then, send OTP. So, makakatanggap tayo ng OTP guys kung ano yung number na nilagay natin dito. So, ito na yung OTP na receive ko na from PSA. Then, enter natin guys. 140011 Then, click mo yung verify Ayan, so privacy notice So, basahin natin to guys Then, after that, click mo yung I agree Ayan guys, ito yung fill up natin dito sa online Ayan, so fill out online application form Please fill out all required information Which will be reflected in the PhilSys registry And Philippine ID card We enjoyed you to provide only true and accurate information to avoid the penalties as provided in the law. So, kailangan guys, yung ilalagay natin dito is true and accurate information. First name, middle name, last name, suffix, sex, o kasarian, Filipino or residence alien, or marital status, blood type, then date of birth, age, birth country, birth province, birth city, then dito sa ano guys, permanent address. So pipilapan na din natin to Country, province, city, barangay. Then address of tirahan. So i-type natin dito guys. Then zip code. Then present address. Ayan, kung parehas lang din naman dito sa permanent address. So i-click mo lang dito guys. Same as the permanent address. Para di ka na magta-type ulit. Then email address. And guys, after natin mafilapan, so i-review natin guys kung tama yung mga nilagay natin na information. So kung tama naman guys, click natin yung next. And then preview guys, so i-review natin dito. Then kung okay naman guys, kung tama yung mga nilagay natin, so i-click natin tong I have July reviewed the entries in this preview page and declare that the information above is true. So click natin to guys. Then click natin yung continue. So, sabi dito, minor below 18 years old are required to be accompanied by a parent or guardians during step 2 registration. So, yung below 18 guys, kailangan required na may kasama tayo na guardians dun sa step 2 registration. Then, click natin yung next. So, registration wants to know your location. So, click lang natin yung allow. Ayun guys, may lumabas na sorry currently there are no available registration center near you present address. Stay tuned for announcements for the opening of appointment. Booking for additional areas in the coming weeks. Please visit facebook.com slash PSA Pilpis official and pilsis.gov.ph for more updates. Pag ganito guys, ibig sabihin wala pang available na registration center na malapit dito sa lugar natin. So ang gagawin lang natin guys, isave lang natin yung application natin. So save my application. 
So kapag ganun nangyari guys, ibig sabihin walang malapit na registration center dun sa lugar natin. So ang gagawin lang natin, i-visit lang natin yung website nila, yung official Facebook page nila para ma-monitor natin kapag magkaroon na ng registration center sa lugar natin. Ayun guys, so yun muna yung masisir ko sa inyo. Halimbawa dito sa step 1 guys, sa pag-register online, kung available yung lugar sa inyo na mayroon ng registration center na malapit sa inyo, So, magpo-proceed po yung step 1, then mag-set tayo ng schedule for appointment. So, papunta natin yung date na yun guys, para dun sa step 2. So, sa step 2 guys, dito nila i-validate yung demographic data natin, then kukuha tayo ng biometric information. So, after that, makuha nila yung biometric information natin, then schedule na nila for deliver. So, dito guys, wala tayong babayaran. So, antayin na lang natin yung Philippine National ID natin na i-deliver sa atin. So, baka guys, mayroon mag-offer sa inyo na magbabayad kayo ng ganitong amount para mas mabilis yung pag-process ng Philippine National ID. So, hindi po yung toto guys. So, huwag kayong magpaluko dun sa mga ganitong tao. At para naman dun guys, sa mga hindi pa available, yung registration center dun sa lugar nila, i-follow nyo lang guys yung official website ng philsys.gov.ph o di kaya dun sa official Facebook account nila na PSA Philsys Officials para ma-monitor natin kapag magkaroon na ng registration centers sa malapit sa lugar natin. Then gusto ko lang isingit guys, gusto kong i-shoutout si Drew Panahon, then si Gerald Lebradilla. Maraming maraming salamat po sa patuloy na pagsuporta. Then kung gusto nyo ma-shoutout sa next video guys, so i-comment nyo lang below para ma-shoutout ko po kayo sa next video. Ayun guys, I hope na nakatulong tong video tutorial ko. Then palike naman guys and share na din baka sakaling makatulong sa iba. Kung bago lang po kayo sa channel ko, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo dun sa mga bagong videos na i-upload ko. Maraming maraming salamat po and God bless. See you on next video.